Hello, my beautiful Gemini. Happy New Year. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel, Trying Divine Tarot. I'm trying. I'll be reading for you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate that. We're going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to try to do the entire zodiac today, so our message is going to be a little shorter. Um, I'm going to be using the Romance Angels and my Leah Norman deck to get a few. Um, get a prediction for 2024 for my beautiful Gemini, please. Okay, so the first card out we have is the nest. All right, another one. Okay. <laughs> okay, so... Okay, I feel like you're, you're, you might be changing locations. Okay, you might be newlyweds, or um, you're building a new home. These are, I'm not exactly which, these might be seagulls. I think seagulls mate for life, okay? <laughs> and um, they're building a new home. They're really working on their structure and the st stability, because they know that their most important things um are going to be living in this little house they're building so they're making it very sturdy they're making it um very safe okay and as you can see they're not making it low to the ground they found like a really someplace really really high that um not many predators can <laughs> try to attack okay so um but they're making a like i'm getting four wands where they're building a firm foundation for each other, okay? And um, you could be, like I said, changing new homes or building a new home or moving in together. Um, maybe this is a, a very new for you. Maybe you've never lived with anyone else before. So this is a pretty big change for you, okay? All right, the second card out we have is um, you could have been going through a little rough patch here in the clouds here, but I feel whatever this was, you're overcoming because the sun is out, okay, and the sky is clearing. So I think that this was just, you know, those ups and those downs that we go through, and I feel like you're weathering the storm, and the sun is making its way, okay? So also the sun represents something that's really um, happy. The sun represents the ultimate happiness. It also sheds light on certain things. If we need any clarity regarding something that kind of had us in the dark, it brings the clarity, okay? All right, then we have the magnifying glass here. So um, I don't know why I'm hearing eye on the prize or you've been keeping your eye on something or something's been keeping their eye on you, but um, something was being investigated or you were really looking into something and I feel like you received the clarity that you needed. Okay. <laughs> the other card we have out here is the mask. You can consider this like a mask. You can consider like the, the Capricorn card. Um, so, Okay, so there's three faces on this mask here. There's the center face, there's a face going this way, and a face going this way. This is feminine energy here with the moon, this is masculine energy here with the sun, and then this is like an obstacle in the middle. So maybe there was something that uh, was interfering in your relationship. Uh, you really didn't have all the facts at the time, but something was illuminated and gave you the information that you needed. Okay, and then this is the, the card that came out. <laughs> this is deception. Someone is wearing a false, a false self mask in this relationship. Okay, so the mask is showing itself twice. Okay. So you may have caught somebody in a lie or they may have caught you in a lie, Gemini. Um, 
but whatever was being hidden, the mask had fallen off because there's information that you found, okay, that brought you a lot of clarity and that clarity is going to really help you make the decisions you need to make regarding this relationship, this situation. Either you're going to, you're going to forgive or you're going to move on. Okay. All right. More for the Gemini in this situation, please. More for the Gemini in this situation. Okay. They don't want to come all the way out. See, that's that hiding energy. More for the Gemini, please. Okay, <laughs> the first card out we have is Cracker. Okay, so something may have happened on Christmas, okay, because this is like Christmas decorations, Christmas tree. The Cracker is that little thing that if I think if you pull, pull both tabs on the side, it makes a little snapping noise. So you get a little, you know, a little it startles you a little bit. So um, maybe you found out something Okay, and we also have the tree here also, so, um, and then there's a Christmas tree here, so, something about a tree, <laughs> um, trees represent our family, it represents our health, um, maybe you received a special surprise, maybe that's that, um, information <laughs> maybe that uh, came to you around uh, Christmas time okay and the second card out is celebration so this is like a holiday event something is definitely happening happening today <laughs> New Year's Eve or um, something may have happened on Christmas Day or Christmas Eve okay but let's read the message on this card well, we'll read the cracker. Positive energy surrounds you. Love, joy, and good fortune await. And then we have celebration. You are ready to bring new and exciting things into your life. Okay. So. Maybe you both were playing games with each other. You both were wearing masks. You both were hiding things from each other. And I think maybe... The Christmas miracle, maybe you both forgave each other, okay, and decided to work things out and work on your partner partnership and rebuild, okay? As you can see, well, maybe you can't see, <laughs> but this seagull has a uh, another branch, maybe extending the olive branch or something um, in his beak, and he's ready to kind of fortify his his nest here to make it stable, to make it strong. I think maybe um, some truths that were long overdue maybe came in with like this, this Christmas, New Year's energy, okay? It really, really shed the light on, um, on issues. I feel like the, the, this warmth of the sun was really healing, okay? The, the, the light or the light bulb moment that went off for you both was it was just like a, a really healing time for you okay where are we at all right i'll do a little bit of tarot more for this issue 2024 for my gemini please it's like you guys identified if you are if this is regarding um a relationship or a work issue however it applies to you like you guys are able to identify the problem and I think you're working it out I think you guys um, have stopped like avoiding <laughs> it's like something was going on that you both knew but you weren't talking about this is the, the feeling I'm getting but I think whatever it was you guys put it all on the line and were able to work it out Maybe that was that holiday magic helping you guys along the way, okay? All right, so 
maybe you get a brand new start, okay? Um, but this is the Ace of Pentacles, so this is <laughs> a new possibility, a new opportunity. Um, like I said, maybe this is something you're giving a second chance to, and this next go around is going to be very strong, very stable. Maybe finances were affecting your relationship, you know, but it, I think that there might be a little blessing of finance coming in for you to really, um, to really alleviate that, that, um, that burden for you guys. Okay. Cause I know a lot of arguments start <laughs> with finances. Okay. Especially if you've been with somebody for a while. Okay. So I think you're getting another chance maybe with the same person. And I think this new opportunity coming for you guys in 2024 is going to be very, very abundant. Okay. And, and let's say if let's, uh, let's see where we are on time. This also, you could be choosing, if I'm dealing with a feminine or masculine, <laughs> Gemini, um, let's say you decide not to work it out with your person. There's something brand new on the horizon, 2024, that's like gigantic, okay? It's like a gigantic opportunity. It's a gigantic possibility, but it's something huge. It's... It's financial, it's stable, and it could be a new person, okay? So I'm going to leave that there for the Gemini. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate that. And we'll see you next year, Baby Dolls. <laughs> Ciao!